someone will come looking for me, you know. Oh, just shut up. Stop talking so I can think. Think? Think? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? I'm the one in control here. Let's just keep that shut. Why? What are you going to do? You're going to kill your own mother, Aaron. I remember when I was 12 years old. Johnny's dad took us sightseeing in Cambridge. Johnny fell off a wall or something and he broke his arm. And Johnny's dad brought us here. I remember walking down this long corridor, looking at the pictures of the doctors and nurses. What has this got to do with anything? And I saw your face. My mother. The same person who walked down this ten years before. Only now you're using your maiden name, Dr. Margaret Smith. From that day, I'm about to become just like you. Like me? I don't go round to kidnapping people and tying them up. I try to help them. You need help, Aaron. Let me guess. You're going to be the one to help me? Yes. Yes, I have a colleague. She's... Why the hell would I want your help? You're the one that made me this way. You did this to me. You can't blame me for this. Why not? I'm not the one who walked out on their family. Besides, I'm not the one who needs your help. Remember when we first met? When I first came to work here? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you later, darling. Hello, come in. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Please do take a seat. Sorry, where are my manners? Dr. Margaret Smith, if you didn't already know. <laughs> right, Aaron. What a wonderful name. We've never had an Aaron working here before. I used to know an Aaron a long time ago. You did? Yes. Well, he died. <laughs> he was an old man. So, let me see. Top of the class. Your tutors say you have promising potential as a doctor. Your parents must be proud. Dad's not around anymore. My mother's dead. I'm sorry. Well, if I can ever be of any help, my door is open. Let's get down to some business. Leave it. It's never done anyway. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Shouldn't smoke those things, you know. They'll kill you one day. Oh, well, we're gonna die one day. Might as well be in good company. Mm. Oh, no. I know. I need to go to the toilet. Tough. I'm not going anywhere until you answer me. Why did you abandon me? I never abandoned you. I never stopped thinking about you. Where do you think these lines came from? I thought about you every second of every day. I wondered what you looked like. Why did you leave then? I had to leave. I felt... I was scared of what I might do to myself and to you. I was trapped. You don't know what your father and his family were like. They were always criticizing me, everything I did. They acted as if they owned me because they took me in when I had nowhere else to go. I felt smothered. I just couldn't breathe. So one day I, I just packed my bags and I caught the first coach I saw. Why didn't you take me with you? I couldn't even take care of myself. Never mind my two-year-old son. You wouldn't understand. I agonized over it for days. You did, did you? The whole experience must have been devastating for you. No wonder you never had any more kid. Yes. 
Well, it's devastating. Guess who? Jennifer Love here. You all right? There you go. Thank you. I swear, if I have to see another pancreas, I'm going to shoot my professor. He's all right. I swear he's just pan where he's just pancreas mad. Oh, okay, good guy. Are you off, right? Yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Hello, Tanya's phone. Hello. Hello, Tanya. Hello. I'm just waiting to see what's on your coming to. Um, Hello, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Tanya. How long do you think it takes for a mother to get over losing a child? Why are you asking me this? No reason. I'm just curious, that's all. I thought I'd met the girl of my dreams. She was smart, funny, caring. It's over now. You saw to that. You can't keep blaming me and others for the way your life has turned out. <laughs> For me, mother dearest, I'll be dead in less than a minute. Didn't think it was fair for you to choose between us, abandoning the other in the process. You agonised over your decision last time. I'm sorry to get out of your hands. 